Hey, y'all. I just love it when people make videos and share their Black Friday and or Cyber Monday deals that they got in the world of crafting. So I thought I would make a video sharing what I had purchased and it's really not a whole lot. And um, it just came all from one company, but this year I kind of decided to put my sales spending dollars towards small business because I like to uh, support small business owners. I have a friend who is a small business owner. She has a brick and mortar store and just seeing how all these changes in inflation and COVID, you know, really affected her as a small business owner. Um, they really do go through some hard struggles, you know, like when COVID first started, she had accepted the fact it, that she may have to shut down for good um, during COVID, that that was going to end her business. But fortunately, it did not. And people in the community supported her business and she still has her doors open today, which is fantastic. And, you know, that's just part of the reason I love to support entrepreneurs and people who are doing their own thing and making their own way in the world. So, I didn't uh, buy anything Black Friday. I don't know if I said that, but I did uh, on Cyber Monday. So, I'm going to share with you what I purchased and where I spent my money was with the Hip Kit Club. Now, they had sales ranging from 20, I think it was 20, 40, 50, and 70, I believe. And I stayed in the, I think the 40 and 50 percent range of my shopping. I did get on there before anything was sold out. So got on there when they first started the sale and, you know, actually got to look at everything pretty good and, de and decide on what I wanted. So this is, I believe this was the May hip kit for the month of May. And I wasn't, ex you know, there was one kit in particular I was looking for and I got it, which I'll show that to you next. But, I, you know, since I had the time to look at the other items they had for sale, I picked up this one, and I believe it was May. And it is called Together is Best. Now, I'm not going to open up all the embellishment <clears throat> packs. Um, but I will go through the papers. So, looking at the embellishments... And I did not realize that when, you know, I didn't look at it that closely. But there were these little die-cut butterflies. And y'all, they are made out of fabric. I don't know if you can tell, but these are um, fabric. And there's a lot in there. So, that really tickled me. And then I got the card stock die cuts this was just the main kit for this one i did not get like any of the embellishment add-ons or but i'm going to hold this up here and to me this is a like i don't know it's kind of like a good generic kit just from the array of dies that are in there and um here is wood veneer shapes adorable look at there a little embroidery hoop you got some circles you got some frames and you even got some cute little um photo corners and they are very detailed <clears throat> so with this set <clears throat> came uh pink fresh's life right now puffy stickers they're puffy alphabet and then let's look at the papers. 
I don't know if these are all exclusive papers or not, but we're going to find out. Um, this first one is, <coughs> excuse me, I had to take a sip. I had some uh, sinus crud like that started the weekend after Thanksgiving, and it has just hung on. So, um, this is truly amazing. And I will let you know if it is not a hip kit paper. So you got the blue, and then you've got these pretty cut aparts. There's some florals. And see, it's kind of a, a variety. You are truly amazing. Thank you so much. Hello, friend. Make a difference today. This one is called All the Moments. And this says... Uh, like, wow, cool, enjoy, hello, BFF, uh, cute, fun, LOL, okay, sorry, hi. Just all kinds of uh, words and a script. <clears throat> and this beautiful watercolor, distressed uh, shades of pink with a little bit of peach mixed in. This one is called Besties Forever and it's just a page of a variety of frames. And then you have these stripes that's got some kind of like zigzags running through them. Life is Better With You. Another pretty floral with some butterflies and leaves. And then you have this yellow, um, it's almost like a stitched looking hexagon, the B side, my favorite and my best, a black and white floral. And it actually looks like it's got some little flecks of yellow, almost like you um, did some, you know, flicking with a paintbrush or take the um, top off of a little spray distressor and, you know, flicked it on your paper. And then we have this peachy colored ledger. So this is my first time looking at all these papers and I am not disappointed. We have a gold and it's got little pops of pink in it. Floral is called My Kind of People. And a pink polka dot on the back. Some butterflies here. This one is my tribe. And another uh, watercolor design on the back. Here is a pretty floral, so timeless. In the back you just have, um, they're not perfectly round polka dots, but you have some black um, dots. Love this one, Soul Sisters. This geometric design with all the colors. This is probably all the colors that are in this collection. And then this geometric design on the back. And I'm definitely more interested in this side. And then this beautiful floral. Love this color of like a periwinkle blue. It's called Sweet Friendship, and the B-side is a pink with lines running through it. So that is the um, first collection that I purchased. And then the next one I'm going to show you is the one that I really wanted when it came out. And this is from July. And I don't know what it was about it, but I saw it and I, I talked myself out of getting it and said, you know what, if they have it on sale after Thanksgiving, I will buy it Then it was meant to be because, you know, I get enough stuff. And guess what? It was on sale and I think it was 40% off. So I bought all the things for this uh, particular month and it is called Wild and Free. 
and I don't I think I was I don't know some of the, the designs and the ephemera is just adorable and the color palette it's like something that I don't have a lot of so let's look at the puffy stickers this is 175 puffy stickers and it's got this adorable western motif and it is a navy and it is adorable I love it love 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 it here is the chipboard stickers and as you can see it is kind of a uh, western southwestern theme I live in the south I, I have been out west and I have pictures from out west but I don't think you really have to use it as a, as a western theme I think boy you know I just I don't know it's just adorable And then the ephemera pack, uh, the cards, they call them the card stop die cuts. There's 44 pieces. And like here, it says country music is good for the soul. And let's see, looking sharp, born to be wild and free. You are a rock star, partners in crime, friendship. So I think there's a lot of things that you could do with this. Can't be tamed. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> That's what I always say. Um, country music. Love you. Well, I, I can't say that. I don't really listen to country music. And then these fabric die cuts. I'm going to have to look. I think they're like... You make little flags. They give you these little um, is it dowels they call them? You know, and you can cut them to size. And oh, wait a minute. These have a backing on them. So I don't know if the backing's meant to stay on. I don't have any fingernails. I think it's meant to stay on. I was wondering if it was if you could peel it off and it was sticky. But I don't think I don't know. I don't think so. But see you can fold it and make little flags and you even get some little bit of twine with it. Adorable adorable so let's take a look at the papers I've got to get my scissor and cut this open now when I've gotten their kits their papers have come in a pack but it wasn't for that May kit so I don't know if that's something they just started doing here recently or not, but my May one wasn't um, packaged like that. So this one is Adventure Calls. And just look at the colors. I just love these colors. They're cool. Um, they're just calming. I just really like them. Here is a blue on the back side with some plus signs. Cactus dreams. Now, I don't think I would. I would not necessarily use the cactus because I'm not around cactus. I don't have pictures of cacti like this. But you could still use this paper and you know cover up that with your photos. And here is the B side with some cute lines of rainbows. This is gorgeous, country life. And then um, a blue distressed with little dots on it. 
Here is the same colors as that first sheet, just in a stripe, and it is called Desert Sun. And then the back side, you just have this design. Golden Sunrise. I don't know that I would use this side. This is just talking off the top of my head. Or I could use part of this, you know, this top part. Because this looks like the sun rising over some mountains. And here is the B side. And I really do like that side. It's funny because this is the way it goes. But to me, I would use it upside down. This looks more natural to me than that way. Howdy Girlfriend. Another floral. <clears throat> And we have a diagonal wood grain memory quilt that has all the colors again. And, the, and this you could cut apart into to blocks and make the blocks whatever size you want. Or use a stripe of them, you know, cut it in stripes. A lot of options. This is more of a southwestern design on this side. So I probably would use that side first. Roam Free, another beautiful watercolor. And then you just have this graphic design. It's an orangish golden color. Stargazer. And then this is the B side, and I love both of those sides. So you could use this one either this way or that way. Tame that inner beast is kind of a take on a cow pattern. Cute. And then you have this floral. This almost to me looks like a vintage floral, just the color combination. We have Wild Thing. That's cute animal uh, print. And then you've got some, it looks like you flex some white. Um, paint on it <clears throat> and here is the B side with this pink watercolor distressed and you've got some flecks of blue so if you don't enjoy using mixed media it's already done for you here we have a yeehaw uh, bandana design and then the B side you have some more cacti, some clouds, and mountains. And then this is just a piece of chipboard that they put in the back. And you could actually use this for other crafting products because it is thick. So along with that, I did get the... Actually, I should have gotten an extra paper pack because I got the embellishment kit that goes along with it. So I probably will have more embellishments than I will have use of paper. So I, or you know maybe I can add some other papers in with this. Here are some more fabric die cuts with star pattern with the little cow print. And this is why <clears throat> I have resubscribed to them as a subscription kit because you don't see this in other lines. I haven't. And look at these cute little faux wood chipboard stickers. And they're like little buttons. And then this is called the chipboard phrase sticker. And howdy, happy, fun, wild, free, you dream, breathe deep, yeehaw. And I'm looking because it looks like I am missing a heart right there. Because when it's sitting down, I can see the outline of it. But I don't see where it's like falling off. So somehow uh, one of those little hearts is missing. That's okay. 
Oh, now look at this. Chip uh, cardstock stickers. There is 42 of them, and you've got these little borders. Now, they don't look to be a full 12 by 12, but those are cute. And look at this. Here are some uh, more goodies. And I like that because you have not just these strips. You have strips and um, other stickers. So it's a nice variety because you don't have like the same stickers on both sides. So they switched it up. And then this is Wild and Free Puffy Stickers. And those are adorable. And then the last thing I got with this, which I was really intrigued by, was the uh, color, oh, I forget what they call it, the color something. And this is a little bit of mixed media. You got all these beautiful florals, these cardstock die cuts. And look at all. Does it tell you how many pieces? 33 pieces. And then along with it came, this is by Lindsay's Gang, www.lindsaysgang.com. And it is three powders. And these are powders. And this one is Ramblin' Rose Pink, Teeny Weeny Bikini, and Beach Ball Blue. And I'm going to try to read, even though I wear glasses. This print on here is pretty small. And it says, add powder to water or your favorite medium to create custom paint or gels. So we are going to paint some flowers at some point in time. So I'm really tickled about that. And then the last thing I bought was the grab bag. And I think it was $19.99. So I'm going to show you what came in my grab bag. I don't know if they were all the same or different. So this is from Sweater Weather. So that's going to be fall and it's 55 cardstock mixed die cuts. And here is the back. You have some sweaters and pumpkins. There's a fireplace some leaves, um, there's a fox, boots, trees, a house, you got a little bit of Halloween mixed in, there's a witch hat, and you know, a jack-o'-lantern, and then just regular pumpkins. And another beautiful color combination, and along with that, Came this by Sweater Weather, 26 chipboard phrases. Look at there, game time. Loving the leaves. And I'm, you know, I'm seeing things and phrases that are kind of different from what a lot, of, a lot of other manufacturers are producing. Look, family meal time, best photo, this happened. All the feels, I just, I love it. And then, of course, um, their backing has a design on it. Now, this one just has some little dots. So, you could use that in your crafting. You could use that, cut it down to journal cards. Um, they all have, like, some type of reusable backing. Let's see, is there anything else? Sweater weather. No. Okay, and then we have some Maggie Holmes vintage buttons, and they're really adorable, but some of them are quite thick, so I can use them in a junk journal, um, 
because for me some of this is just a little too much bulk but it looks like they're on a foam adhesive so you know maybe if you take the home the foam adhesive off it would you know take some of the height off of it and then we have uh, Jen Hadfield reaching out sticker book 210 stickers so I'll flip that real quick And to me, some of these would go with that wild and free line. And then let's look at Chasing Dreams. Aren't these adorable? Look at that. Where do you see these at? Nowhere. These are with veneer buttons, 44 of them. Here is the um, die cut, cardstock die cuts, 59 of them. And then here are 16 card stock die cuts. And to me, it looks like you're going to do something with these and make a flower out of them. <clears throat> and then here's some wild and free extras. Which I'll have to look because I thought I had everything from that line, but apparently... Maybe they sell some additional things because these are 16 chipboard stickers. Follow the call of your heart. Holy cow, life is good. True fat cowgirls just want to have fun. Dreams definitely do come true. And then here are some phrases. Let's uh, the dirt will wash off, but the memories will last a lifetime. So much sweetness and sass. That's my granddaughter right there. My soul is full of happiness. Set a goal and find a way to get there. Jeans and boots on. Let's go. Weekend vibes. Always take the scenic route. Boots rock. Um, just a cowgirl at heart. Besties living, besties living denim. I believe in you, babe. June looks like. What was this? The, this may have been the June kit. I keep saying July, but I don't know. It's June or July. Just horsing around. So I will put these in with my wild and free kit. And, um,. This other stuff, I'm kind of, I'm kind of playing with two different options of how to store my leftover hip kit products or say these extras because I did get a little bag of goodies when I resubscribed to them um, as to how I want to store it because I like to keep my stuff together. I like to keep my collections together. I like to keep my companies together because it's easier for me um, because I will take a long time putting stuff together from different companies. It just takes me so much longer to, to create a page doing that. So I like to keep like things together company-wise. So I want to keep all my hip kit things together because... You know, companies tend to use the kind of the same colors in the color palette. So you could mix and match with um, within that company's kits. So um, when I decide what I'm going to do with that, I'll share it. But I just wanted to hop on and show you that's all that I got for um, Cyber Monday. For some, that may seem like a lot. For some, that may seem like hardly nothing because... You know, we all do our own thing, but this is what I did. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.